Also new at five tonight, what happened to the Eastern Flyer? It is the passenger train service people hoped would actually link Tulsa to Oklahoma City again by rail. Sounds like a good idea. Two works for you reporter Tony Russell shows us what it would take to get the project moving again. Only on two. This is the only train carrying people right now in Oklahoma. It runs from Oklahoma City to Fort Worth, Texas and back every day. Three years ago, when the Stillwater Central bought the Sooner sub from ODOT, there was a promise of passenger rail. It was called the Eastern Flyer to run passenger service from Tulsa to Oklahoma City. That project has stalled, and this is the next best thing. Welcome aboard the Heartland Flyer. Our day started bright and early from the platform in Norman. We found passengers like Greg Elson taking the train back home. Just a pretty cheap and easy way of getting around. It's a lot more relaxing than driving. Elson doesn't own a car, and this is how he gets around. And it's just a more pleasant trip overall. The Heartland Flyer takes about four and a half hours to get into downtown Fort Worth. The train can max out at 80 miles an hour with stops in Purcell, Halls Valley, Ardmore, and Gainesville. It's been great. We can, you know, there's plenty of leg room, uh, Wi-Fi and power on the train. We can work or just watch movies, do whatever. We took the trip on the Heartland Flyer with passenger rail advocate Evan Stair, State Representative Forrest Bennett. What we are seeing, though, is a generation of millennials who they don't want to drive anymore. They want to have their cell phones out. Uh, they want to have their laptops rather than holding a steering wheel between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. One day, this could be what a trip between Tulsa and Oklahoma City could look like. Stair says one day, speeds could reach up to 110 miles an hour. That's faster than the, the turnpike. Here's the proposed route. Tulsa to Sepulpa, to Bristow, Stroud, Chandler, and Midwest City going into Oklahoma City. Advocates hope to get the trains to stop right in the heart of Tulsa's and Oklahoma City's downtowns. Tulsa's set aside vision money to create a transit hub at the center of the universe. All we need is the city of Tulsa and the city of Oklahoma City to get together, work with ODOT, work with the Stillwater Central Railroad, and make this happen. According to the ODOT contract, when it sold a section of the rail called the Sooner Sub to Stillwater Central Railroad, the railroad company would be mandated to run a passenger railroad pilot program between the cities. Back on our trip to Fort Worth, we crossed the Red River around lunchtime. Our crew decided to grab lunch in Dallas to stress test DFW's public transit system. In minutes, we were on the Trinity Railway Express, the commuter train rolling into Dallas. Representative Forrest Bennett has the proposed Tulsa Passenger Rail Service coming into his district. I'd love to see it happen. My brother lives in Tulsa. Tulsa Representative Monroe Nichols just learned he'll be allowed to hold hearings this fall on the status of the project. There are all these, these cities and these, and these economic hubs that, are, that have bought into passenger rail. Uh, and so it's not you know, kind of something that's a new idea. It's something that almost is now becoming one of the basic things you have to have if you're going to have a vibrant metropolitan area. Representative Bennett says the Eastern Flyer is about more than just people riding the train for a trip to a Thunder game. I think it would connect Oklahoma. I mean, and not only connect Tulsa and Oklahoma City, but it would connect the cities in between. As we pull back into Norman after a day trip to Texas, we're reminded of the demand passenger rail has in Oklahoma. Advocates say more than 60,000 passengers take the Heartland Flyer each year. In Tulsa, Tony Russell, two works for you. Why not? I, you know, Let's make I, it happen. I know. I mean, we both come from cities where there's light rails or train service, right. and they're awesome. Hey, that's the way to travel. Put your feet up, see a little bit of the countryside. <laughs> no worries. Do some work with the Wi-Fi. And when I it's hot outside. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, as long as it has AC, right?